as uh, people in the know, and actually some, actually, well, once everyone sees this, everyone will be in the know. The big inspiration for the band was the Monkees. The Monkees were a uh, manufactured band that was put together by producers, directors, writers, to basically cash in on the Beatles' Hard Day's Night. It actually started with no band members, just a name and a flyer. Waldo Gothi was at a show, and he actually brought in this flyer. And this flyer, if you can see, says, hey, hey, here comes the Gothies, pop goes the underworld. I had such a fondness for um, cartoon bands, I'm like, see if I can make one. And unfortunately, it came true. We did not expect to play out. We were just having fun, and we were just gonna maybe record some stuff, and then we were offered a show in 2002, which was the Gothi's first show. After the show, people said, when are you playing again? Sorry, oh my god. I'll back up because somebody's phone just made a noise. We got asked to do another show, and then another show after that, and then it just became a band. And current lineup. Surly Gothy. Crimson Bobby Gothy. Kid Gothy. Lord High and Low Gothy. I'm uh, Waldo P. Emerson Gothy Jones III. Being the Gothies, we are the purveyors of what is known as the Bubble Goth movement. We may be the only proponents of it right now. The Gothies exist because of a bunch of guys' love for 60s pop, the Velvet Underground, Frank Zappa. We have a theremin player. I can't tell you how many bands that I know in Pittsburgh have a theremin player, which is not a lot. And if you don't know what a theremin is, the Google machine will help you out with that. I definitely use it in this band as more of a, uh, I don't want to say noisemaker, but um, I did say noisemaker. I didn't want to say that, but I said it. A personality no. device. Yeah, pers it is a per I think a personality device is, is the way to go. The last show I played kazoo. Nobody plays kazoo anymore, so I threw a kazoo solo in there that they didn't expect because I didn't tell them about it. A lot of artists really enjoy working with us. I'm Minister Curiosa, who did our puppet show video. No, that's a marionette. We just gave them the song and, and photos of the band, and they came up with this amazing video. The main riff of that uh, is something I would sing to my dog to calm her. It's time for Sadie to come and get love and get her belly rubbed, because she loves belly rubs. And then I realized if I added some distortion to it and made it not about my dog, it might actually be a pretty cool song. That's why I won't die. We still cover songs. We don't as much. It's a song that we might like. We'll do sort of a little bit of a different take on it. We really don't even listen to the originals. Like was, when we're practicing and learning them, we kind of have an idea of what they sounded like at one point but then it just kind of takes its own little form and shape and we're like, all right, this is how we play this song. We just recently did a, an EP of all Monkey songs, which is coming out shortly. It actually is gonna be named after the Monkey's fifth album, which was called The Birds, The Bees, and The Monkeys. Ours is The Birds, The Bees, The Monkeys, and The Gothies. For a band called The Gothies and everyone in black suits, uh, it's pretty upbeat and fun. Candy Dreams is about a girl named Candy who was uh, living in the 60s and uh, at night, she dreams about all the astronauts. She just kind of drifts off into the ether. Yeah.